Jack Coe is our guest today. Jack is from just outside of Texas, a little place called Red Oak. Just outside of Dallas. I mean Dallas, right? In inside, the inside of Texas, yes, outside I'm, of Dallas. There, we got yeah, it right. Yeah, about in the middle of Texas. <laughs> yeah, you are just about yes. the heart of Texas, aren't uh -huh. you? So yeah, there's a song about that, but we won't go yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you, you, uh, I want to talk about healings and miracles today. Some of the healings and the miracles that you've seen, some of the things that have impacted your heart changed your, I mean, given you a bigger vision of what God does. All right. Uh, you know, it, it's just great what God does. And it, every time a miracle happens, it really fascinates me. But a lot of people don't realize there's a difference between healing and miracles. Let's go there. Okay. Let's spend some time there. Let's well, do that. Well, you know, there's nine gifts of the Spirit. And one of the gifts is healing and the other is the working of miracles. Now, miracles sometimes is a work. That's right. It says working of miracles. That's right. And gifts of healing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, yeah. and you know, that's... By the, the way, thing. that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Just want to let people know that's right. what it is. Well, the thing that I have seen about this is, uh, you know, healing is a process. Like if you cut your hand, it heals up. It, it doesn't... A miracle don't take place and it closes up and you, you, it, you're no bleeding or anything. But it's healing. And so there's a healing that God does through the gifts of the Spirit, through the praying, and it's for the children's bread. And healing is a thing that is gradual, like mine was a healing. But a miracle takes place instantaneously. When uh, pa uh, Peter and John was going to the temple to pray, there was a man sitting by the gate of the temple that was all twisted. And he, he, they said, look on us. And he looked at them expecting something. Mm -hmm. Well, they prayed the prayer and nothing happened. If you'll remember reading that in the Bible, they prayed the prayer and nothing happened. So then they reached down and took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet. They worked a miracle. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? That's good, good, okay. Yeah, yeah. And now they had to do something. They had to do something to make it happen. And you know, uh, A.A. A. Allen, I don't know whether you've heard of him. I've heard of him, yeah. Uh, his son is a good friend of mine. We grew up together. And A.A. A. Allen, like my father, worked a lot of miracles. There's one particularly that I remember with A.A. A. Allen. It's called, they, they've got it on video. It's called Monkey Boy. And this little boy, the, Brother Allen took him up in his arms and he could take his foot and turn it around just like a rubber doll. Turn it back. He had no bones whatsoever in, in his legs. And he really kind of looked like a monkey because he had long, longer arms than he should have had. And he had no, he'd never walked. And I believe he was at this time that they showed this on uh, the, the video footage. He was uh, like a, 10 or 11 years old and never walked. And just never had the bones to walk. Just, just never had the bones no, to walk. No, Didn't was... have the strength to walk. And so Brother Allen, you know, gets up there and gets a hold of him and, and starts praying and working with his legs and prays some more and preaches in between. I mean, this goes on for about 30 minutes. Oh, really? So, yes. so, so it's back and forth. But, yes. Okay, go on. And the parents did not bring this child to his meeting. It was the next door neighbors that brought him, uh, brought the little child to the meeting. And so uh, after about 30 minutes, you know, Brother Allen put the boy, he had the old flat top piano, you know, the, uh, uh, the long, uh, what are they called? The grand? Grand piano there in the tent. And then so Brother Allen stands the boy up there after praying for him and, and said, in Jesus' name, I want him to stand. And the boy stands there probably seven or eight minutes, you know, in this video. And then he puts him down and says, now I want you to walk. And the little boy walked for the first time in his life. Well, you know, it did not happen. You know, in other words, Brother Allen worked the miracle. And just like uh, my father, you know, Jackie Rhodes, when she had scleroderma and could not walk, he lifted her to her feet. So, you know, there's an action on your part. Uh, every time I've read in the Bible, you know, there's an action on your part. So to, miracles to, come with a working of miracles. The working of miracles. That's what it says. Very it, it says there, yeah. yeah but, well, the, but you know, we, we don't understand that. We, right. we, we, we just think, well, they just did miracles. I mean, you know. Right. Uh, but, but there was a process. There was a, there's a, 
a, kind of a getting involved in, in, That's in, right. in this. And my dad, you know, I saw a lot of people that had, were deaf and dumb. And he would pray with them and then he would be, begin to teach them or, you know, you have to be retaught how to talk because they've never talked. They haven't heard. And he would tell them, you know, say baby. And they, they might not say it clear at first, you know. And, and I watch it on those video footage of my father. You'll, I gave you a set yeah, of them. Yeah, I've got a set. I'm going to go through you, those, yeah. And, you know, then he would take and, you know, have the Hammond organ to play and, and, and you know, have them raise their hand. As, as, and when the music stopped, they'd stop. So, you know, it's working. Okay. okay. You know. Uh, so it's a process and, and you're building it while you're, while right. you're there worth it. Yes. And so, you know, when you read in the Bible, there's always, you know, something happening with miracles is working. You know, Jesus, when he raised Lazarus from the dead, called him forth. Now, that's a working of a miracle, you know. Yeah, so, and then they said, and now, now take the grave clothes off of him. Yes. So, like there was, there was a continuing. Right. Uh, How more, did he walk in those grave clothes, you know? Yeah, I, I've wondered about that. <laughs> well, you know, uh, uh, Jesus called him forth. I don't know whether the Spirit carried him or he walked or yeah. what. It doesn't, you know, we doesn't don't know. Say. Doesn't no. say. But then they, they took the grave clothes off, you know, he walked. He was. He, he, well, well, there's one time when there was somebody blind. It, 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 like it wasn't finished the first time. Remember? Right. And, and, you know, I've had to do that before, you know, pray for people two to three times. And Have you then, found it when, you're, when yes. you're doing a work in a miracle like that, right. that you, you start and they get some response, you, you go again and you get yeah. more response? Yeah, and, and you might remember in the Bible where Jesus, was it blind Bartimaeus, that he spit in the dirt and made a mud out of it and put it on his eyes and then told him to go wash, you know, in the pool of Siloam, I believe it was. That was the working of a miracle, you know. It wasn't a healing, it was a working of a miracle. There was something that had to be done on the person's part that was doing the praying or the speaking. And I found that that's what miracles are. You know, you've got to have faith for miracles. It's, a, it's a, one of the gifts of the Spirit. And a lot of people go to meetings where, where they're advertising healing meetings and, and miracle meetings, and nobody's operating in the miracle power. They're just operating in the healing power. And a lot of people go away disappointed because... They're expecting they're the miraculous, ex they're, and they're not going to see it. That's right, because they're only operating in the gift of healing. And I believe that when we pray for somebody that they get healed, then it's up to them to... Uh, to, to walk in faith because I've seen people my daddy prayed for that was totally blind and they could see, count his fingers and, and you know, catch a handkerchief and everything. And then by the time service was over, they had lost their healing. I've seen some of that happen before. So, you know, wow. the, a person has got to walk it out at, at their healing after they're prayed for and walk in faith. Uh, I prayed for, I went to pray for a woman one time that was in a cast. And she said, don't pray for me. I hadn't collected my insurance yet. And then I've had other people, you know, well, I don't want to be prayed for uh, until uh, I collect my insurance. Well, see, you, they have faith that they can be healed, but they don't want it now. So, <laughs> you know, God wants you to want it now and walk in faith. Yeah, and, and, and leave the rest to Him too. I mean, yes. just, just trust Him. Uh, I was in Gadsden, Alabama in 91, and the first miracle that took place in that meeting, I was, didn't even want to be there, but a pa pastor talked me into coming, and, and I, I said, well, I don't want to bring my tent in, because at that time I was doing tents. I said, it's in Dallas, and I don't want to go to Dallas and get it. He said, well, I've got one that's a little like a 30 by 60 tent, not very big. And so I was just hoping, you know, to go in there and do a few days and then get out and let him have it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because I was doing it as a favor to sure, him. Sure, you're going to get him started off, yeah. let him keep going, and yeah. you're going to get on with things. And uh, so uh, this woman came in and uh, was in a wheelchair. And uh, so I prayed for her, and God said, have her stand up. And so I reached over and took her by the hand and pulled her to her feet. And when I did, the power of God hit her, and she began to dance and shout in the Spirit. Well. You know, she, I had never seen this like this before. 